you can fit the ProRide 598 onto roof racks with 20 by 20 mm T-Tracks. 20 by 20 mm adapters are included for mounting on Thule wing bar edge, wing bar, slide bar, and aero bar. It'll also fit roof racks with 24 by 30 mm T-Tracks with a 14 pounds adapter, and square bar roof racks with a 5 pounds adapter. Initial setup is straightforward whatever system you use, and moving the rack from one side of your car to the other is a trouble-free job that doesn't require any tools. You can lock the ProRide 598 to your roof rack to stop anyone waltzing off with it. Once in place, the ProRide 598 could hardly be simpler to use, as long as you can reach the top of your car easily. You position the wheels in the wheel trays. You'd have guessed that, right? Dash and put the claw around your bike's down tube. The extended lower jaw, it's significantly deeper than before, will hold your frame in place even before you've tightened it, making bike installation that much easier. The clamping surfaces of the jaw are covered with squishy rubber pads to spread the pressure and conform to unusual tube shapes, and a torque limiter dial prevents over tightening. Essentially, when you reach 7 newton meters the dial won't tighten anymore, just clicking like a torque wrench does when you reach your set point. Thule suggests that if you have a carbon frame, fork you consult the manufacturer to check that it's okay to use the ProRide 598, and that's probably a good idea just to be on the safe side. The ProRide 598 holding all bikes firmly in place. I found that the quick-release strap clips could occasionally be difficult to open at the end of a journey, you sometimes need strong thumbs, but removing your bike is otherwise just as easy as getting it installed in the first place. 